This library is amazing. Check out how cool is this text morph. This is text morph. It's really looking nice. And there is also this text shimmer wave, which is perfect for some kind of loading. This entire library is based on animations and they are so easy to implement, same like ShadCN. So in this video, we are going to review this library, which is called Motion Primitives, and we are going to implement a couple of components inside of this AI Mill Planner project to see how it feels and how easy it is for the implementation. And let's start. So first thing we're going to do is to go to the installation page. Here we have a couple of things that we need to do. First thing is to install Tailwind CSS. This one we have by default inside of our Next.js application. Then we have install motion. That one we need to do. So I'm going to my terminal and I'm going to type in pm pm add motion. That one is going to install the motion dependency inside of our project. And that one is needed because the motion primitives library is using motion under the hood. And only two more steps to go. So the third one is to create the utils.ts file. And that one we don't need to do if we already have ShedCN on our project. And here on our AI Mill Planner, we have it. And same thing for the fourth step for Lucid React icons. That one comes by default with ShedCN. So if by any chance you don't have ShedCN installed on your project, just go here to lib and create the utils.ts file. You need this part of the file and you need also the Tailwind Merge and CLSX dependencies and also install Lucid React icons. And now when we have everything from here prepared and we finish the installation, we can just pick any component and copy paste it in the same way like in ShadCN. So first component I'm going to pick is this text shimmer wave because I really like this one for some kind of loading and let's see how can we do it so we have the installation through the npx command same like in shedcn we even have the shedcn prefix here i'm just going to copy this command and we are going to use it inside of our terminal so this one should add a command but unfortunately something happened not found okay this is the new component maybe they didn't put the link in the right way but let's do it manually we can do it everything is exactly the same like in ShedCN so we could probably just copy paste it so here inside of our components inside of our UI I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to call it text shimmer wave.tsx and I'm going to paste the entire thing inside okay and now we just need to see how is that one being used so here i'm going to copy this entire thing and just put it on our main page so here on our page instead of or just in between here i'm going to put the text shimmer wave and to import it from our components nice let's see how does it look so here when we come there it is Creating the perfect dish, it even makes sense with this kind of project. So this one is really nice for some loading and it's really nice smooth animation with color changing and everything. And this one can also be edited however we want inside the component itself. So everything the same like in ShedCN, we can put in whatever colors we want. We can change anything that we want here and also we have the utils.ts, which is important. So we can use whatever we want inside here. We can use class names for to change styling and anything we like. Then second component I'd like to try is this cursor. Check out how good it looks. It's changing the cursor completely. And this is really not an easy thing to do when you want to do it yourself. And we can use maybe this one, the city below. And there is also an option to put an image instead of a cursor. So that's really nice. Maybe on desktop views to display some images or something. So let's try it out. I hope that this command is going to work this time. So I'm going to copy paste the command npx shedcn add and then this cursor.json. And this time it's working. That's probably because of the new component from the text shimmer wave thingy. Okay, so now this one is added and we can use 
this example, this one, for this green, the city below. So I'm going to the code and here we can see that they're creating a mouse icon. So that's strictly for the design. And then we have here, we are wrapping with our cursor component here the and using the mouse icon. So we can see it here inside the cursor component and we are putting it on our image. So I'm going to copy this entire thing like this and let's see what we need to call. We need to call cursor2. So here inside of our components, I can put it inside the features. So I'm just going to call it cursor2 like this for an example and I'm going to paste it in. So let's see here we are pulling it from core but we need to pull it from the UI because that's the directory when where that one is being saved and this one looks good so we can now just put it again on our main page so here below of our text shimmer wave we are going to put this cursor to let's see if it's called yeah it's called like that so I imported that one and let's see how does it look so here is our image and if I go my mouse over you can see that we have entirely new cursor and I don't know if implementation took maybe one minute for something like this that's really amazing and it looks really nice so this one can be used for really bunch of things to display different stuff on desktop views amazing and third component that I'd like to try out is this spotlight so check this one out this is following my cursor movement across the component and we have this spotlight effect and we can also change different colors so this one is a little bit bluish and we can also do it with our border this is really nice and it looks awesome so let's try this one out i'm going to copy again this npx cn add command i hope this one is working this one is new so maybe it's not working let's try it out and it's working nice it's detected there in the registry and we added our spotlight component so now we can just use maybe the first version just to test it out how is it working inside of our project so this one is called spotlight basic i'm just going to paste it inside of my features folder again spotlight basic dot tsx and i'm going to paste it in inside here again we are changing to ui instead of this core because the spotlight is saved by default any component that we add with npx cn command is added inside of our ui directory and now we are going to our main page and here below the cursor to we are adding the spotlight basic so let's test it out how is this one working so we are going to our ai mail planner and here we have two errors let's see Stroke line cap, okay, so we need to change this one because we are in React. Let's see here, so here we need to put it as camel case, like this, okay, so now refreshing. Okay, so this one is now working and if we go our mouse over, we can see the spotlight effect and it look really nice. I don't know why we don't have this icon, but it doesn't matter. The important thing is that we can just easily put this wrapper like in our spotlight basic here and we can use our spotlight on whatever component we want and it is going to look amazing like in this example here so this is really nice addition to the shed cn and go to github give these guys a star they really earned it and as i see they're adding bunch of new components which is really important they're constantly updating, they're working with React 19 and with the latest Next.js 15. So that is something that you need inside of these libraries to be updated. So I definitely recommend trying this one out and using it on any of your projects.